Hi, welcome back to Herbal Blinds Pharmacy. I'm Dr. Tamitha Davis, and I have my little guy with me, Mr. EJ. He just fell asleep, so hopefully he'll stay asleep during the video. <laughs> I just love it when he does that. They're so cute when he does that. Okay, focus, 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 focus. <laughs> All right, today's video, we are going to talk about um, other ways of being able to grow food, gardening, and whatnot. Um, if you don't have land, property, or a way to do it where you're at. So, I actually got this idea from a homeless vet that he he's probably doing this illegally. I'm pretty sure what he's doing is illegal. But, it gave me some ideas. <laughs> and I'm not saying I want you guys to do anything illegal. Okay, okay, make sure you're, everything I'm going to tell you that you do legally. Do your research, okay? <laughs> But where he's staying at, um, he's growing food, okay? It's not his property. I believe it's owned by the city, actually, and I'm pretty sure they're unaware that he is doing it because I've seen on the news that there was this um, homeless camp area where they were actually growing food, and the city came in and tore it all out. Which is very very upsetting because the cost of food is so bloody high right now that it is just ridiculous and being able to grow our own food i think is very important for multiple reasons and cost of food in the grocery stores is one of them but i wanted to come up with some suggestions on how to grow your own food without you know having your own land you know, I'm, I'm fortunate. I do have an acre, so I'm able to grow food. Um, I do have friends that have um, land where they can um, have chickens and things. So I can, my husband, we love eggs and he loves chickens. So um, we do a little bartering with him. So that's one of the things that you could do if you have friends that have property, maybe do some bartering. Uh, they have like a little section where you can have a garden, you know, maybe say, hey, you know, I'll grow X, Y, and Z and share that with you and um, you guys could barter that way. Also, uh, like apartment building. My mom lives in an apartment complex and a couple of years ago we talked to management about growing some food on the property. They have four acres. So the, some of the tenants are now allowed to garden there. They had to kind of jump through a little bit of hoops and stuff. I'm like, okay, because some of the things that, ooh, bump the camera. Some of the things they couldn't plant was anything invasive. They couldn't do any trees, like apple trees, fruit trees. Um, so they, but they were able to grow just regular, I call it regular garden stuff. So um, maybe check with your apartment complex about doing that. Um, containers, you can grow things in containers. Um, my mom has a balcony and she gets plenty of the morning sun. So we are able to grow certain herbs and stuff on her balcony. Um, this one here probably sounds illegal, but I have a friend who lives... Um, she doesn't have a very big backyard. It's very, very tiny. It's like five steps in woods. <laughs> she actually found a clearing in the woods and she didn't cut down any trees. I want to say she did not destroy any of the landscaping. Okay. But this is city owned property and it's just off from her property where she's actually growing a garden. Okay. You know, she says the soil is so awesome in there. You know, it's the, the trees provide the nutrients, the leaves fall and just provide nutrients. And this is kind of like the um, back to Eden method. If you've ever seen that on YouTube, I suggest you guys go and look at those videos, the back to Eden method. That's pretty much what is going on in this little area that she's growing. It's just nature's provided her great soil and her the stuff grows awesome there. Um doing community gardens there's several of them in my area there's definitely not enough um just in my county i think there's maybe two or three in the county i live in a pretty big county um but you know that's an option i do believe that there is a fee that you have to pay also uh something i'm looking into right now there's this vacant 
um, property that's near my mom and it's been vacant since I moved out here in 2001. It's been vacant. I'm trying to find the owner of that to see if maybe we could do uh, like a little community garden there for the apartment comp. There's two apartment complexes side by side and it'd be perfect for uh, growing that. We may have to give them some money for it. Um, so we are looking into that and you guys could very well do that as well. Also my neighbor, he has lots and lots of trees in his backyard. So we could do um, things back there. We could grow mushrooms and things like that. Even my friend who lives near this green wood area, <clears throat> she's growing um, food there. There's also parks. You could talk to parks and recreation to see if you could do, and I've seen these in the area where they have containers that has food growing in them. Um, so maybe talking to Parks and Recreation to see if they're willing to allow that to happen. I do know that there are many rules and restrictions and things like that for those types of things, but um, <clears throat> those are some suggestions that I came up with, you know, the guy, the homeless veteran kind of gave me the ideas of that, but really making sure that you're doing things legal. You don't want to do anything illegal. You want to go on somebody's property, that, you know, if you live next to somebody who has like 200 acres and they're not doing anything with the property that's attached to yours, you can maybe say, Hey, can I use just this little section right here and I'll maintain it and grow a garden and everything and not plant anything invasive or cut down any trees, things like that. Unless you get their permission to say, yeah, cut down some trees. You could do that. And also if you own property, you could probably share with like friends or, you know, somebody who's struggling with um, getting food. Uh, you can say, hey, I got some property here. You can come and use it and exchange. You can grow some stuff for me because I'm not a good gardener, you know, whatever your situation is. I've done that. I have um, friends I'm willing to swap out food and stuff with you. You may be really good at growing squashes and your other friend isn't, but they're really good at growing beans. You guys can switch out, you know, that's, that, I really feel like that's what we're supposed to be doing anyway. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I just want to give you guys some just suggestions on ways to get food besides going to the expensive grocery stores and the other thing that, uh, why we should be growing our own food is I don't trust the stuff that they have in the stores or so many chemicals that they use and at the store here, one of my friends, she works in the produce department and she says, organic or not, everything gets sprayed. Gets sprayed. She says, as long as it's grown <clears throat> organically, they can sell it as organic there, but everything still gets sprayed. I'm like, oh, well, that's just lovely to know. So check with your supermarket to see if that's what they do, which she says more than likely all of them do that. So <laughs> um, <clears throat> we need to get the chemicals out of our body <laughs> and we need to not put any more in, you know, especially I've got this little guy now and I'm just even more cautious about things like that. So I hope this video was helpful, useful, and share it with somebody. I know I'm rambling. I'm trying not to wake my baby. And I'm also trying to be careful what I'm saying because there's so much I want to say, but this is actually like the fifth or sixth time I'm trying to make this video because uh, <clears throat> some of the stuff I suggested probably would have gotten the video taken down. <laughs> or somebody would say, that's illegal. You can't do that. <laughs> so make sure what you're doing is legal. Make sure it's legal and you're not destroying things. So, but anyway, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.